American companies GE Aerospace and Kratos Turbine Technologies have signed an agreement to jointly develop a new family of small turbofan engines. Representatives of both companies said that these engines will be intended for use in cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and barrage munitions. Amy Gowder, president of GE Aerospace Defense and Systems, said the new family of small and affordable engines will initially have a thrust of about 800 pounds, but that power can be increased to 3,000 pounds. We call it GK800, but it's a scalable architecture. So it's perfect for cruise missiles, Amy Gowder said. For his part, Kratos director Eric DeMarco said the engines are almost ready to go. They're almost ready to launch, and we're already in talks with customers. We understand what the first platforms will be, what the first systems will be, and we understand the competitive environment in terms of pricing and performance, said Eric DeMarco. The design of the new engines provides for a service life of several hundred cycles instead of several thousand, which significantly reduces their cost. For Kratos, this deal is important because it fills a need to work with a major engine manufacturer to develop and launch new engines into large-scale production, something GE Aerospace can help with. DeMarco also added that Kratos has experience as a merchant vendor for various applications, which means the product should be available to any customer. Production of the new GK engine family will be launched at a new facility, the location of which is currently being negotiated with government and other authorities. The first applications for the platform have already been identified, but remain classified for now. It will be recalled that in the year 2020, the United States of America conducted a series of tests of the prototype of a cheap cruise missile and its turbojet engine TDIZH-85, developed within the framework of the Grey Wolf program. The launch of new GK engines will be an important step in the development of modern defense technologies. These engines have significant potential to improve the efficiency and reduce the cost of manufacturing cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other military systems. The collaboration between GE Aerospace and Kratos Turbine Technologies is an example of how two powerful companies are joining forces to create innovative solutions for the defense industry. It is expected that the new engines will be widely used not only in the United States of America, but also in other countries that are interested in increasing their defense capabilities. Thus, the partnership between GE Aerospace and Kratos Turbine Technologies will not only contribute to the development of military technology, but also strengthen international cooperation in the field of defense. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel.